Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. Now you guys might notice, you know, obviously from the title and from the video that we are pushing World Record Poco. Now as you guys can see on the screen right now, World Record Poco is 1373. So it's not that high, uh, it's, you know, it's not that much above, you know, rank 35, which I already do have my Poco. Um, I am top one in the world of all time with Gene. I have obviously, you know, the 2000 Gene. And then obviously, you know, I'm high up with some other brawlers, but Poco is a brawler that I actually really enjoy to play. Although it's kind of basic and, you know, it's not that exciting like Colt or Rico or Brock or even Gene. You know, there are a lot of fun parts for me about Poco because you could kind of just carry a game by just helping your teammates. So we're just going to be on that road to world record. I'm going to show you guys some games here. This is going to be the first video of a two-part series. And in part two, we're going to be doing world record Poco. I'm also going to be showing you guys some world record Rosa video, which we're going to be getting later on in the season and some world record Jackie videos which we're also going to get later on. What I'm thinking is we do a bunch of world record videos, you know, just to, you know, start getting back into the swing of things here because it's been a while since we've done anything too crazy. And then towards the end of the year, we might go on a crazy push and try and break the overall trophies world record. But with that being said, let's get into the video and let's get started. All right, so here we go into the first game. We're going to be going up against Tara, Jackie, and M. So a pretty good team. We're going to be playing with Jigsaw, who's going to be able to get, um, or who's going to be able to get in the future, a world record roads that we're going to be pushing together. You guys know Jigsaw. I'm going to leave a link to his YouTube channel down below. And then there's going to also be Real Canadian, who's going to be playing Colette. I don't know if he's going to go for a world record Colette, because that world record's also really low. I'm thinking about doing that one. I'm either going to do Colette or Nani. Let me know which one you guys want me to do. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to be playing right here. They have three pretty decent hard counters, but it's really easy, you know, to kind of pop off with Rosa double tank, or at least Rosa in one tank. If you're playing the, the, the Poco, I keep saying Rosa tank, Poco double tank, if you're playing the Poco correctly. Poco, obviously, you know, is a really, really good brawler, uh, helps out the team a lot. And if you're just playing smart and playing like you're supposed to, it's really easy games. You guys see, we both, we get double sucked. You know, we have three people shooting at us, yet we're almost at full HP. That's just the power of Poco and, you know, Rosa and just like the tank chemistry with Poco. It's really easy to win games. Um, it's not that much of a challenge at all, as long as you're playing it properly. Now, there are some hard games where you're facing like B, Spike, Tara, you know, just absolute triple counters that you can't get through and that you hope for a draw you hope that you outplay them somehow and we have one of those games for you guys today a little bit later that's going to be the first one we're going to hop into the second one and keep things going all right now this game was kind of toxic so we're going to be facing double tara bb now you guys know an obvious counter to poco double tank is a tara um and you know what's a little bit of a harder counter than that is two taras and that's exactly what we're facing here today um, this is definitely going to be a difficult game for Jig and myself because Tara does really well against Poco individually. It does really well, you know, when it comes to pulling tanks or facing tanks because you get so much value just off of solo uh, pulling one tank that you can, you know, basically just get that pull rate back. And the fact that we have to deal with that twice is kind of toxic. Uh, plus a BB, you know, a BB's not that bad. It's good for pushing people away. That's really it. Uh, we're going to try and make plays over here. But every time we try and make a play, we just get pulled by the other Tara. So it's kind of toxic. But, you know, we're making our way up. We're trying to do our best. We're able to get a little bit of a team wipe over here. And RC is going to bring the ball up. Now, Jigsaw is chilling in there. They do use double gadget at the same time. So, I mean, you know, they don't get double division or anything. I guess that was just some bad teamwork over there. But you guys can see they pull me on one side of the map. They pull RC on the other side of the map. And they just leave Jigsaw free to go and just put that ball in the net. So, one minute into the game, we finally somehow are able to score a goal. Now this one's looking a little bit tough. We gave a little bit of heals to RC so that he can go in. Obviously we're very aware that there are two Taras. One of the Taras is gonna miss her original pull. Another Tara over here is gonna pull Jigsaw, but not much can be done. I'm gonna heal Jigsaw and RC. And this game is starting to look really good for us right now. They're kind of trapped in their own spawn and they did just use both of their supers and didn't get any value off of either really. So it's looking pretty good. One Tara gets super again, but that Tara is going to miss it. Um, so, you know, these Taras aren't really doing too well at the moment. Jigsaw is going to push it up over here. I'm going to be able to get that kill. And right here, that Tara wasted its pull, so it's not too close to its next one. It takes a while. It finally gets it, but it's a little bit too late. And we're going to be able to score that goal and get the win. Now, that was definitely a very hard game. We're very lucky that these Taras messed up a couple of times, because if they did, there is no way if they didn't mess up that we would have won but again let's hop over into the next game and let's keep things going so hopping into this game it's a little bit of a better matchup very similar to ours they got a poco you got a rosa but instead of a colette they have a tara now i think personally our comp is a little bit better because colette does melt rosa and we do have the advantage obviously of you know 
being pretty good players and knowing how to work together. So Jigsaw is just simply going to pick up that ball over there. He's going to walk that one in the net. It's going to give us a 16 second one to nothing lead. So the game is looking pretty good to start off. I'm going to give RC heals right off the bat so we can both play really aggressively and try and gain position in the grass over here. I'm going to go down over there. RC is going to miss his dash roll Colette type thing. I don't really know what to call it. But Jigsaw is going to kind of just go up there and pop off. He's going to just go crazy on them. He's going to be able to get a double kill. On top of that, I'm going to be able to heal him. Tara is going to try and make a play. Not able to do too much. Jigsaw is going to continue just, you know, going off over there. And at this point, it's a 3v1. Rosa doesn't have the best DPS. So, you know, it's not really anything he can do. Plus the Poco heals. Plus the damage. We're going to take it out. And we're going to get that win. So, that was probably the easiest game we got. Although those guys comp was pretty good. We were able to work together really well. And... Colette does go well into their comp, so we had a pretty good matchup. Now let's hop into the fourth game, and let's keep things going. Now hopping into the fourth game, we're kind of facing a god Colt over here. Now I know his name is the bot, but he kind of popped off over here, so we're going to start off facing double tank. So originally, you know, you, you, you can already tell, you know, really good comp for Colette to face. Um, Jigsaw probably should have picked up the ball over there since he could have just rolled, or not rolled, just popped his super, and I could have healed him. That probably would have been a goal. But you guys can see right here, you know, Colette's doing a good amount of work uh i personally wouldn't just dash into a bowl like that but you know rc can do rc um and there daryl's actually going to be able to score a really quick goal like 30 seconds into the game so that's a really bad start for us right now i'm going to pop gadget right off the start so we can go aggro since we didn't really do that too much last time jig's going to pop super rc is going to go in i'm going to heal them both and that was really fantastic team chemistry really well played and we're able to get a really quick bounce back goal so one to one 45 seconds into the game and now this Colt, you know, this Colt's kind of had enough. He's starting to pop off over here. Their Daryl's going to roll onto us. Um, their Bull's going to dash onto us. I'm getting heals out over here. But at the same time, this Colt's just absolutely clipping. He's doing his thing, you know. He is not much of a bot, to be honest. Jigsaw's trying to juke. But as you guys know from the fact that Jigsaw can't juke, it's not going very well. I have my heal, though, right now. RC does have his Colette super. He's going to go and He's going to go down. But there's not much that anyone can do to a rosa with super so jigsaw is just going to pop that super and walk the ball in and that is going to be it for that game now we're going to go into our final game that was the last game i played about 10 minutes ago before i started recording this video so it's going to be a little bit more difficult um it's definitely our hardest game and after that one you know we decided to take a little bit of a break but let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened all right so here we go into our final game now this game we're going to be facing a spike a tara and a jesse now for those of you who don't think jesse's a good brawler let me tell you that jesse when played correctly is actually very very strong now you saw me make a few videos of jesse when her new gadget got released all or, or i should i shouldn't say all four both of her gadgets and both of her star powers can be incredibly useful if you're just playing it correctly now i'm not saying it's an easy brawler to play i'm not saying it's a broken brawler by any means but if you're playing the brawler correctly and you have a good matchup it is very good very annoying under a lot of different circumstances you can play it just about anywhere and jesse is really strong against tanks such as rosa you know uh, jackie primo not that good against bull because bull can just walk up and two shot the turret but it's really hard to take out this turret as a rosa poco and colette you guys can see the colette struggling with it i'm struggling with it jigsaw struggling a little bit and then on top of that they have a tara and a spike which obviously just counters all three of us so they're going to be able to score a really quick goal. But yeah, I mean, it's not that quick, more like a minute into the game, but definitely very, very tough for us. Um, so we're going to try and play aggro here. I decided to be a little bit more aggro instead of being, you know, kind of like a healer because Jigsaw is going to get taken down by them either way. There's not too much he can do. I'm going to give some healing to him over there. So we're going to be able to get a couple kills. Jig's actually going to be able to run through them. I'm going to be able to get super. Jig's going to be able to get super. So that's looking really good. Again, when you're playing Pokemon, you have your gadget. Give your gadget to other people other than yourselves. I gave gadget to Jigsaw and then he was just able to run through the opponent team. So obviously, you know, share that gadget. I'm going to heal RC myself and Jig. So we're trying to get a little bit of value off over here. I get a really lucky, you know, um, I get a really lucky super over there. Because if I didn't get that super off, I didn't heal myself and RC in like the split second that you always have to make some type of move when you're in the Tara pool. We would have lost that game. Luckily enough for us, I timed it right. And we're going to be able to make that save and corner the ball with 30 seconds left in the game. 
So at this point, we're just trying to figure out stuff that's going on over here. We're trying to get a couple kills. I missed my heal over there on Jigs, or not on Jigs, sorry, on RC. He went down pretty fast. I didn't think he'd be going down that fast, but now we're starting to gain that bush position. You know, Jigsaw's hiding in there. I'm able to get my heal off just in time, so I'm going to be able to stay alive. And it's looking a little bit better for us right now. Jigsaw's going to be in the bushes. The Jesse's kind of running low on gadgets. I don't know if it still is a gadget. So it's looking really nice for us. Jig wanted to go in there, but a spike with super and, you know, a Jesse turret, it just, it was not a great recipe. He decides to go in anyways, and obviously, you know, that shows why he didn't. Now, I could have scored over here, except I did, I took a normal shot instead of a super shot by accident, which kind of made me mad because I clicked the super button. But anyways, you know, it was a normal shot. We're in overtime here. Um, I think Colette's the best brawler in overtime that's on the map, but we do have a Rosa, which is also the worst brawler. Either way, I'm going to pass the ball over, or sorry, Jig's going to pass the ball over to us. We're going to get a couple heals off over there, so we're all going to be full HP. Jig's going to super pass us the ball, and RC is going to put that one in the net and end our very stressful final game. That's going to bring us from 1166 all the way to 1170, and that's where we're going to be at right now. Now we're going to continue pushing and hopefully by the time we can make our next video, we'll be at world record. We'll probably have this video dropping, um, you know, by the time I've, you know, recorded it same day. The next day, I'll probably have a different video and the day after, hopefully we'll have the world record video. But anyways, that is going to be it for me today. You know, as always, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. That's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Not a regular game, late nights at Walmart Getting Gatorade and lots of Pop-Tarts Gotta power my brain, gotta stream through my stream B&B on a track Right, can you dig it, yo, I'm talking